or no, a second day, I'm sorry. He was uh, fourth in qualification score. Some solid scores. Yeah, that's some very solid scores. Yeah, for, for the condition. And Frederick from Sweden. Uh, Two hundred and fifty feet a second with the recurve. Was he not in the uh, in the finals at the last three D Worlds? He was. That's what yeah. I thought. Yep. He ended up taking silver. But yeah, this was a very tricky uh, tricky event for both the uh, unmarked and marked. Our scores weren't as high as they were in the previous uh, previous worlds. So it was a very very like you said earlier, it's very tricky. There wasn't like any targets that were. There, there was no gimmies. There, there was nothing. Like, we had an 11 meter bunny uphill, and it was like 30 degrees. Oh yeah, in the, and we got that target when we shot it. It was like pouring rain, so there was absolutely no gimmies. And with the rain, does that affect you guys quite a bit? And David with a solid left three. Frederick, solid four left. That seems to be uh, the common theme here. We're, we're shooting a lot to the left here on this target. Um, no levels on these t on these bows, so uh, maybe some overcompensation, trying to lean into the hill some. But yeah, the the rain does uh, affect it some. If it's just a light drizzle, it's not too bad. Oh! Ooh, solid shot, Frederick just hammering it. Mm. Ooh, David, is that a miss? That is a miss. a miss. Probably wrong crawled that one, or just a little bit nervous. Um, but yeah, going back to the rain. Oh, let's get Frederick's last arrow in here. A solid target. Four six four. Fourteen. He's gonna have a good lead going into the second target. Ooh, he's a little quick on that. Four. I think, yeah, I, think uh, I think David looks a little nervous right now. He does look like he's shaking a little bit. Yeah. We don't we don't have many opportunities to do stuff like this out, out on the stage, out in front of people, so it, we're all a lot of like we're very similar to rookies when it comes to something like this. So it, it I guess really it really depends on how well you can handle those nerves in the moment. Yeah, it's that that's that's the challenge. I mean, it's just like uh, it's, it's just like if, if you're if you're a, a dedicated um, uh, hunter and, and something comes in that you're you're not used to seeing, it's it, it's very hard to control the nerves if you're not very familiar with it. What would you be telling your archer right now after this first target with a miss? Uh, just to, just to stay in there make just make some good shots because no matter what happens I mean you've seen earlier that that last target is such a huge swing um, we've seen archers miss two arrows and then maybe catch a two on the third arrow it's just you're the way this course is set up you're in it until yeah. the end um, but well, you we'll, Okay. You, you definitely had some great words of advice for Fawn, because, I mean, after, your, after you had a chat with her, I mean, she just immediately changed around. So let's hope that the French coach has, yeah. uh, has some great words for his archer as well. Yeah, it's, uh, you have to be very adjustable when it comes to this, because it, there's a lot of these shots that we, we never shoot. Um, so just like, like in any other discipline, you have to make that good first shot and then just quick adjust after that. I mean, this is like a... 38 degree uphill shot. Hmm. So a three up. It was a lot. Frederick's a good four. Frederick looks really solid right now when he's holding on target. Yeah. He's shooting right around 50 pounds, too. He's, uh. That's he's, a big draw. It is. Solid five. Another low four. So the thing, the thing with uh, shooting 50 pounds is um, you can screw up a little bit on the back end of your shot. Um, it's going to come through the fingers a little quicker. So if you're a little bit sluggish, you might get some low fours. You're not going to get the low threes or twos if you're shooting a uh, lighter poundage. You're not going to hold very long on target either with 50 pounds, are you? Not unless you practice a lot. No. Do some holding drills and stuff. Frederick's another nice, nice strong shot for. Ooh, center six. Spider. Great last shot by David. Make some points up on that one. Good. 
Down five points going into the third uh, third target. It's you can pick up points in a hurry on those bunnies though. Yeah, yeah. It's those are definitely not gimme targets. Nope, nope. Uh, five meters, it's 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 a gimme. Um, Ten meters, not as much. Fifteen. That's that's the target that gets real interesting in a hurry. But uh, ten minutes that or ten meters, it's it's a good distance where you can make up some ground. Well, we sure we sure saw some uh, some ground made up on the last one. So let's see what happens with uh, Frederick and Jackson here. Now, Fred, Frederick's uh, he's in a good position right now because you know he got probably got some intel from from Lena, um, probably got some from the juniors that, that shot before. So we'll see how he makes out. Uh, on that last target, it, but the, again, it, it comes down to we're so uh, we have so many individual styles that you know one person's cuts another person's addition. Looks like fives around. It sure does. Good shots. Just a little different equipment on each archer. And very individual. Yep. Now they both seem to have a, a slightly lower anchor than you see in a lot of the Americans. We're used to shooting a lot of closer targets and they're used to shooting a lot of longer targets. Great second shot by Frederick. Yep. Ooh, another nut, another, another one. nice one by, by Jackson. Fives, uh, Frederick might, might have caught the six. Shaping up to be a pretty good target for both of them. Absolutely. Boy, his form's looking good. And he looks like another solid five. Mm -hmm. oh, high three. High th Still a little quick on his shots. I think he's going to see this video and, and realize he's got to probably slow down just a, just a little bit. Getting a little antsy. It looks like spin wings on one archer. And what are those other ones? Those are uh, Bjorn Dragon Flights. Uh, they're made in Sweden. Little different twist on a vein. Okay. Is there any definite advantage from one to the other, or just personal taste? Uh, I think a lot of it comes down to personal taste. Now they they advertise that they'll they'll uh, I don't know, be a little bit more forgiving in wind and and just a little bit sloppy on the fingers. It'll be a little bit more forgiving because um, it has just a little bit more flex on the on the end of the vein. So if you do get in some contact, that's what they say that it it, it makes it a little bit more forgiving. I usually stick to more of the traditional uh, spin wing, like an XS or uh, a Spider, for this for this kind of tournament. Going into this fourth and final target, this is the one that's been really a pain for every archer. Yep. It just does not look comfortable shooting that target. Two. Okay, that's not a bad start. And David with a three. Okay. Made back one point. 43 37 right now. Two arrows left. Two arrows and six points. I mean, Frederick's looked so solid all throughout this match. I mean, he's got like, his form's looking really good. Another, Another three. three. That's a good one. David, four. four. Okay. So he brought back another one. Down the five. Frederick can hold it for one more arrow. Just a two, and he's got it. Five. Nice. Great last shot. Yeah. Big smile. Well, you can see a little bit. A little, little bit. bit yeah. But he finished that. David, David shot a, a really good final target. 3-4-4 four, four is a good, good score on that target. Frederick, Frederick for the win for third. It was definitely a different venue than uh, the last World Championships in Ireland, so it uh, has its own challenges that we haven't seen before. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see if we'll, we'll have these kind of angles again. I know it's... Uh, it's not typically this steep for world archery. No, no. This is... I, I, I haven't shot an angle probably half of this. I think the final venue in uh, Dublin was probably the hardest uh, angle I've shot at a World Archery Field so far. 